Hello and welcome back to the Long Dark Winter Mute. My name is Crash and this is my attempt at a playthrough. I'm hungry. What a surprise. what it's like out. I'm st uh, sorry I'm still in the town of Milton. Um, I'm on a seven not too bad. Can't see any wolves. I heard that one though. just had a thought. I wonder if I can... Can I take it? No, I can't take a torch from her fire. That's a shame. There's a fire there. Why are you using a match? Never mind. Sounds like that wind's picking up. So what are we going to do today? Well, oh, let my torch out. Could do the exploring a bit, actually. I've got to get on with the quest for wood for the Grey Mother. Oh, I know what I was going to do. It's going to bring the rest of my supplies back to her house. It doesn't feel particularly right living with the Grey Mother, but it's very handy for the fire and beds. So let's pick all my stuff up from here. journeys I think I'm gonna have to leave something behind I think that's enough for this uh, this particular run. Oh, minus 18. That temperature's gone down slightly. I can still just about run. Thought we'd explore this sort of area today. And see what we can find in the town of Milton. I'll take that. I left him like I promised I would, and I waited here like you asked. Where are you? It's getting too cold to sit here. Pick me up at the old PO. I presume that's post office. When you can and let's get out of here. If you don't pick me up by midnight, I'm out of here on my own. 
Okay. Is it worth checking these? No. Right, so this one's done. I think I've already been in here. I leave the bonnets up to signify the fact that I've actually searched them. And that makes the place look a bit untidy, but there you go. Is that a wolf I heard? I keep hearing wolves, I've got wolves on the brain. What can I put in here? back out? Oh I can. Oh well, that's okay. 65 kilos. Well well well. I'll have to go for the list again if I don't want it she wants. I know it's bandages and stuff like that but well as soon as we got the fire in here we're going to take advantage and load her up with reclaimed firewood. I hope that does something. I'll have to check before I do it to make sure. Right, so where are we? There's the food. Right. Let's drop some of this to start with. Ah, oh, okay, I'll drop all then. Grey Mother. So you just want sticks, coal, f broken furniture, firewood. Yep, okay, well we can take care of that. Keep pushing the wrong button. Seeing as we've got advantage of her far here, we might as well. Not yet, you can't. Not yet, you can't. What if I could leave, use the fridge to store stuff in, in the kitchen? Actually, it might be a good area to move the store to. It does make me feel a bit uncomfortable, her being right next door to me. <clears throat> um, transfer some coal. Have a look. It's going to be one of those episodes today where. <laughs> so, the outsider returns. You're already doing better than the others. You found the fuel, but did you find any answers? All I've found are wolves, bad weather, and an empty town. Just as I told you, they're all gone. Oh, that was a bit sudden and unexpected, Grey Mother. You got anything else to say? What really happened here? Seems like people were here recently. Where did they go? Why didn't they call for help or just drive out? The power went out. Who knows the reason? People started to get cold, hungry. They panicked, started to talk crazy. Others walked here from the highway. Some belonged here. 
Others were outsiders, like you. Did anyone see a woman? Her brown hair would have had a tan jacket, scarf with uh, birds on it, possibly injured. There was an outsider woman. I heard her pass through. She wasn't alone. There were angry voices and... But the storm was too loud. Voices? I lost the voices and I couldn't get them back. Never mind. You did well with the fuel. Now do the same with food. Or I won't last the winter. Oh, so now you want food. Surely someone will come looking. Someone will send help. Search and rescue. The military. The government. To Milton. No. You don't think help is coming? We needed help ten years ago. During the collapse. When you mainlanders were there. Were sitting pretty. And the others raped our island. Took what they wanted. We needed help ten years ago. And it didn't come then. Why would it come now? That was a long time ago. Things are different now. Ha! Huh. Not for us. Not for Great Bear. Not for the Grey Mother. You keep calling me a mainlander. Why? You're an outsider, mainlander. You're one of them. You don't belong here. Right. But I mean... You sound angry about it. Years ago, when the collapse happened, we lost everything. The young people didn't understand how dependent we become. Some people may, may have accepted dependence on the mainland, but I don't want to, the scraps from your table. I guess I don't know that much about the history. I'm not surprised. You mainlanders have always been focused on your own story. Is there anyone else left in town? After the lights went out, a blizzard blew in. People got scared, were afraid of being trapped, or more trapped. They panicked. Some left to see what they could discover from the outside. And what did they find out? They didn't come back. Can you tell me more about the angry voices you heard? It was windy. The blizzard was already waking up and I heard yelling, a scream. Later I heard from the gossip that someone had passed through town in the night. More than one person. A woman and some men. One of the men was found Found? They found him dead the next morning. And the woman? The one whose voice you heard? I'm not sure. The voices were thin. Far. The blizzard was waking up. Soon there was only wind and darkness. The scream. Could it have come from the woman? I don't know. I don't remember. It's all cloudy now. So I hate to ask, but food. The town, it's abandoned. They left me to starve. I need food to survive this. Survive until what? I'll worry about that. You worry about finding me the food to keep me alive. But what if the people come back? Won't I be taking what they need to survive? You mean stealing? Maybe so, but it's fair. They stole from me all these years and didn't know it's their, and now it's their turn. What did they steal from you? Never mind that. Food. Give me food. Find me food. Ransack the gas station on the edge of town. There's always food there. Owner has a special supplier from the mainland. You're a mainlander, so still something sh should come naturally. Or if you're feeling guilty, bring me only what nature has to offer. It'll be more work, but you'll 
Maybe you'll sleep better at night. I'll see what I can do. Take the pry bar from the shed. If you haven't already, you might need it to get to some of the more stubborn places. You said there were others, others outsiders. Called in after night with the lights, I heard them, murmurs in town. I still had ears in town, the gossips, they were scared. Some were from the highways, said they were others already frozen, already dead. They stayed here in town. Schoolhouse, the old schoolhouse, still had a coal stove. They slept in the schoolhouse, waiting. Waiting for mercy. They found it. I don't understand. You'll understand when you find it. Ah, cheery conversation. Thanks for that. I feel much brighter. Don't remember putting up a chair. But there you go. Um, I came back in to get some more food, didn't I? I can't take a rifle, can I? No. So I've got to get our food now. Woohoo! Well, guys, that's about all I got time for this week. I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry it's a little bit shorter than normal. But I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.